church is one body and one spirit yeah. and its meaning is more than a shared interest because it's an indwelling of the Holy Spirit of all believers however all churches do not experience unity among its members or brothers as it should be we have some that get a joy I was trying to destroy the unity of the church, and some go as far as seeking ways to tear down unity in the spirit. The Apostle Paul in Ephesians 4, 1 through 3, underscores traits that are needed in unity, and they are humility, Amen. gentleness, yeah. patience, and love. We are never to take unity for granted. We are many members in, in one body. Amen. But selfishness is very much alive in the church. If we didn't have selfishness in the church, there would be no need for forgiveness. As Christian men, as Christian men, forgiveness in the church is necessary because of the possibility of the dangers of someone or clicks sowing the sport in the church. We must be active in our pursuit of excellence in being unified with our fellow, fellow believers. We have to occasionally pick away a wayward brother up and discourage, and I'm sorry, and encourage one another in our journeys through, Chris, through kingdom building. We have to understand that it's our responsibility. It's our responsibility. It's easy to sow discord among the saints with occasional disagreements that may arise in the church. It is a sin to discord among the brethren. We have to be charged by God to do all things that we can to preserve the unity of the church. And we, and if we miss the mark, we're living in sin. Preserving unity is our responsibility. Preserving unity is our responsibility in the church. Yes, sir. Thank you, and may God bless. Amen. 